Hello and welcome to this beautiful Brandenburg campaign where we last time consolidated the HRE as a Catholic nation and defeated most of the Protestant centers as Brandenburg. I mean, there's still one reformed in Scotland, but I feel like when Anglicanism will pop up, this will die out after a while. So I don't have to take care of this one. And at the same time, we secured the borders of most of the HRE. The only parts we're really missing now is the few French provinces, which you will probably get this time around. I will just need to break an alliance with Castile. Besides that, we are pretty much 100% in control of our provinces so today we will also expand eastwards into russia and poland while also reforming the hre probably by a lot the only thing i have to do now is to basically root out the last few centers of reformation which should be very doable if i fight the right alliances and to help me with that as always is my morning cup of coffee so let's stop talking and start doing also can convert some provinces myself i should really do that what i just started to see is that we apparently own enough polish provinces that we can get the age bonus from the polish and i do feel like i want this as soon as possible so we'll click it now bum and yes we can actually choose it now that is big next time we have enough splendor which will be hopefully very soon i will get this and now let's talk about the very important things of this campaign yes i got a haircut Okay, it got a little bit too long, a little bit too uncomfortable, and I decided to get it cut. <laughs> I'm lazy with stuff like that. Don't ask me. Oh, I just noticed because I have this puppet over here, I can declare war on Bregenz. And you know what? I will just do that. Because <laughs> this will allow me to convert like two HRE members, which will be huge. So let's go in. Augsburg want to be pieced out. Sure, why not? Wow. Stability and Floris doesn't really work out together. <laughs> not really. Oh, no, I get it back. Yeah, sure. Why not? And now I get some admin points. Wow. Württemberg, force religion, money, and war reparations. Let's go. And welcome back to the Catholics. Now to you, Brigands. Once again, force religion and money. Making the HRE Catholic again. One state after the other. So I forced the Castilians to break the lines with the French. So the French are on their own for now. I will make myself one more friend. And as tradition demands it, terming Catholic. And now declare my war against the French, which will be very much needed. I will call in all the HRE members I can. And we should just crush them. The Venetians are helping them, but they shouldn't be able to do too much about it. Let's go. Don't forget, I have a little bit of a vassal swarm now. And economic ideas are also done. Very cool. Which gives me more discipline. So I do feel like we should have an amazing time. I didn't even notice I have the peasant war at the moment. <laughs> Maybe I should take care of that. Ah, losing stability again. Cool. So first battle against the French. One. Very good. From the Venetians themselves, I don't really want anything. You know, I actually should release some OPMs so they will join the HRE. That would actually be really good. I will do that to the Venetians. Yeah, I should take care of this peasant war thing. I have a lot of uprisings. <laughs> so Lithuania declared an independence war. Kind of interesting. And I just died and became emperor again, giving me imperial authority. Very nice. And I got careful, which is actually really good. My air is not amazing, but I am very old, so I will not get a new air. But getting careful was actually really good for what I plan. <laughs> Because <laughs> this is going to be a very expansionist episode as a spoiler. I know. Crazy. How dare I? So, stack up the Venetians. Very nice. So, let's piece them out for, I guess, money mostly. And these two states, which hopefully will join HRE. We will never know. Oh, I get Imperial Authority through the event. That's actually really good. Nice. Pardon, what did you take? And why? Spit it out. 15 Imperial Authority. That's really good. I imagine no one is at war. <laughs> I should just cut this into the video and pretend that's the norm. Like, yeah, it's 15. That's... <laughs> Of course, I promise. <laughs> building a few buildings with the money I have. Very good. You know what? I'm gonna declare this a holy war. Because I need manpower. And why do we have a crusade against the Aztecs? What? <laughs> ah, yeah. Imagine a real crusade. Like, unironically, crusader ships going to Mexico to fight the Aztecs. It's kind of cool. Now that I think about it. It's kind of a cool movie idea. Write that down. My new rival is Lithuania. Because they ate all of Poland. I mean, not all, but I'm gonna eat the rest. So the French agreed to my peace treaty, which is basically release this and give all of this back to Burgundy. It will make Burgundy way stronger, but I don't really care. Right there in the HRE, they're not really contesting me for leadership, so... That's just an easy way for me to make the HRE bigger without me actually doing... Yeah, you see all the messages immediately popping up. <laughs> so I just extended the HRE by a lot by not actually taking any land for myself. Because I just noticed it. Very weird. But the Bohemians have my dynasty and I can't tell you why. I would love to take them over, but I probably can't. They would never agree to a royal marriage. They absolutely despise me for multiple reasons. In the future, this can turn out to be helpful. But for now, we'll just have to focus on, you know, kind of pushing them down. 
because I do want to change the religion. So let's go in. So at least we can't enforce his religion. But for now, I guess we have to weaken them. So all of his allies are Catholic. So I will just piece him out alone. I don't need any separate deals right now. And I will release this and maybe transfer a little bit of his trade power. And that's it. Um, it should actually allow me, even though they are Protestant, to once again vassalize Moravia. Uh, yeah, they're really close. Yep, they say yes now. Beautiful. This is just very good in case of me getting more stuff converted inside the HRE to get these points over here up. And we now can take the Polish crown, which gives me 25 ducats a month. Now, all in all, right? Not, not in that alone, but I have a lot of money now again. I did lose an entire army and I didn't lose it in a battle. I just lost so much manpower that I consolidated my troops and now I have an army less because of that. What I just saw, defend the empire done giving us imperial authority more monthly imperial authority for 15 years and prestige this modifier actually being very good because it allows us to do the next reform basically now we just need more people to agree to it and thanks to my diplomats being out there actually not at the moment uh there you go we should have an easy job with this what i will also start now is to integrate my vassals again because once again my dip points over here is horrendous no further comments your honor I'll start to annex them. Very good. And what I also have to do, probably, is stop the peasant war. So, I guess the Martian crushed the peasantry. Yeah. Let's go in. Just to get this huge modifier out of the way, because it is getting a little bit annoying. It does kind of allow me to dismantle Saxe Launburg, which is good, because they are his ally. They have become a little bit too big for their own good. Actually, a lot of nations that have become a little bit too big for their own good are in this. Wow. Okay. Good. Like it. Guess what the British just did? They lost Pope ship. The first thing they do make their own religion and then they also have to combat reform to uh, have fun uh i just saw the ottomans at war with russia i don't like that i feel like at some point we really have to fight the ottomans because this is getting out of hand so they want to peace out they give a lot of land back and release a lot of nations which is actually very good because all of them will be catholic and once again it gives me one pill authority to have more people in hre so dismantling nations like this is good for me and over here we'll do something similar just dismantle them a little bit and get all of these provinces out and now to the last is i will crush the peasantry as good as i can force government uh, war reparations whatever transfer trade i don't care <laughs> why do you give me too much money that i can't take that good peasantry has been crushed hopefully another peasant republic what is this i don't care crush it i can do this all night i don't care wait the peasant republic troops have <laughs> The Peasant Republic troops have pitchforks? I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's actually funny. Goodbye. I don't need anything from you, Aachen. How developed are you? 50 development. This guy playing tall. What? This is a cold province. It develops him so much. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, that's kind of funny. So, release these two and change your government type. That should be fine. They should say yes any second now, as soon as the siege is done. Most of my troops should be able to go back. And I see Lübeck currently is converting stuff to... From Catholic to Protestant. And I don't want that. So, what I will do is I will declare war on them while this is going on. So, we can finally clean up. We will fight Sweden, but I don't really care. I will defend my Catholics in the Empire. This is just not acceptable. Bam. Yes, I'm doing most of this with five speed. <laughs> It's just sieging mostly, okay? Like, there's no real tactical war. I, I, I'm so strong, I'm just destroying most things. The only thing I'm losing after a while is manpower, but yeah, that's it. My only resource I'm behind is manpower. I have endless money. I could just get mercenaries if I really need to. I'm gonna be honest, dude. When I started making YouTube, I got very defensive about things, right? Like, I'm like, why are all of these comments mean? But I'm at the state, like, every comment, some are chokingly insultive, which is fine. Like, I don't care. I laugh with you most of the time. Or some of them which are really insultive. And I have to say, I just got really used to it. And, you know, now I can laugh with people that joke about me, me doing stu stupid stuff, because I do do that a lot. And by the way, I will force all of the religion. And at the same time, I, I laugh at the, at the people who get really oversensitized about a minor thing. Because sometimes I do something which just puts them off slightly and they write an entire paragraph. The other day I saw a comment on my other channel, on my uh, old Byzantine guide, how everything is wrong. How I dare to post this guide. I, I'm just sitting here thinking, this guide was meant to be for new players who so didn't put in all the matters, right? was meant for a beginner's guy as Byzantium that will work. And some people are just so in this niche, they, they, they lift this game, which is fine, right? This is a fantastic game. But they, they literally get triggered if you don't do things exactly like the matter is. And I feel like that's kind of very toxic part of the EU4 community. I don't mind if you're a pro player. I'm certainly not. But don't tell other people they play wrong just because they play different. I feel like that's really toxic. 
But I, I always love to see the EU4 community grow. And I feel like it will not grow if players like this are people who represent our community. And they are thankfully not, but they are a very loud minority. That's what I learned being on YouTube. Sorry for the TED talk. We can continue the game now. I do like to use this channel as my platform to talk about things, okay? I have time here. It's a chill playthrough. I conquer stuff. I pillage villages. I change religion. And I talk about things that I just want to talk about. Oh, I get a core. What? I got a core here. Oh, that's so funny. It's a religious event because the province is Catholic. He isn't. I got a core there, so I can take this. No one will care. Why? Because... Oh, wait. Stability. Because... Yeah, because, basically. <laughs> oh, I just got an event that lost me a lot of manpower, but I had no manpower, so take that. It's funny how I can take the counter-reformation now, but I am the counter-reformation, so yeah. And I also have a plan to become Prussia, just that you chill, right? What I read in the comments is once I take Erbkaiser Tomb, I can just flip to Protestantism and go back. I will try this out. I'm not 100% sure if it works that way, but apparently I don't lose Emperorship then. Let's see. I'm not playing in Iron Man, so I will put a save down and we can try it out. That's why I like this, because we can try out new stuff that I can't do in my main channel videos. Because I have limited time to record. That's why you see very little EU4 campaigns going as far as they do. And I am not an Iron Man. So I can just put down saves and go back if I do a stupid mistake. Which is good for you, the viewer, because I tend to do stupid mistakes. But I don't cheat. I literally just use it for save falls. So, crush the peasantry. Yeah, please. Sweden is peace out. Beautiful. Love to hear that. And now that we're kind of done with this war, let me just force religion. I take these provinces for myself and I will take money. Very nice. Once again, making them Catholic. And they have way less Protestant provinces now, so that should actually be a permanent peace. Nice. The Ottomans attack Russia, so Russia attack Lithuania. That's kind of a meme. No, no, Lithuania attack Russia. Russia is just dying. <laughs> okay. Uh, good luck. I should definitely upgrade the Brandenburg Gate. Should also drill my troops now that I'm actually at peace for a few seconds. And maybe stock them up because I have a little bit of manpower again. Always enjoy the few seconds of peace. Wait, laser beam eyes. Forest and salads? Oh no. Destroyed them. I could embrace the counter reformation, but I really don't see a reason to do that. At peace, we actually gain 28 imperial authority a month now. That's actually huge. I would like to put through the reform right now, but apparently I'm not that popular. But we did finally crush the peasantry, which is really good. Okay. Why is trust in Emperor so low? I've done so much for this. What? Oh my god. I guess I'm just not very popular. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm... Oh, it's because I'm annexing my vassals that people don't like me. Ah, that makes sense. The problem is I do need to actively do it, but maybe I should stop for a little bit. Because it does... Yeah, it may, yeah, I should stop. Just accept that I have all of this. Austria wants to do a unification war against Hungary. That could actually be good because they could force them to be Catholic. So, yeah, why not? Vassalize you. And now I should be able to... Vassalize you. Okay, they already took up tip slots, so it's not that bad. What I can do now is enforce religion at you and enforce religion at you. Making you a little bit unloyal, but, you know, I'm gonna help you convert. So this is fine. Once again, me kind of outplaying all the mechanics I have to get the H Arena state where it is more Catholic. Very good. Now, I do have a lot of vassals. <laughs> I, I don't know if I showed it map mode, but I have like Nitra, Moravia, Ludebeck. They all joined the HRE at the point, so I can't really integrate them at the moment, even though I would like to. Yeah, while this unification war is going on, I'm just gonna take the rest of Poland. Because if I don't do it, no one will. Thank you. That literally was a very short war. You only have an army out here somewhere, but that's basically it. And Hungary is in union with Austria. It's just a very small Hungary. Uh, yeah. Wow, Aragon taking all the boring things. I want the harsh thing. Come on, let's go. Hey, we have guns now. Let's go. And Poland finally surrendered. Very cool. Taking money, taking land. Nice expansion. You know what? Let's go into Lithuania. They have one ally and it's not a big one. And they didn't join the war. <laughs> they had one ally and they didn't join the war. Okay. Aye, aye, aye. I just died again, which is kind of sad, but I mean, they hopefully say yes now to this, because yeah, finally, I just need to win this war. Then let's quite quickly storm down this. Printing press is also now a thing, just now, and it started in here. The province is currently being converted. Ah, yes. Improve relations, dip prep. Oh, that sounds good. I need that. Oh my god, you, you wouldn't believe how much I need friends right now. I'm not very popular inside of the HRE. I annexed too much. I didn't know they will dislike it. 
it finally happened. The Ottomans declared war on Austria for the conquest of Pest. And you know what? I will make my stand now. I will defend Austria. I will defend Hungary. And we will fight the Ottomans for the first time. Then overwhelming power with offensive and quantity ideas. But we have quality ideas done and we have economic ideas done. And we are at the same tech as them. So we should be able to hold them back to a certain degree. I will finish my war now over here. Bring all of my troops over there. Taking a little bit of land just to make this water a little bit better for the future but not too much bum and now we are starting to fight the ottomans it's gonna be a scary one because the ottomans are huge unironically they're huge they have a manpower reserve of 93k which is not that big but yeah they do have a huge amount of soldiers. <laughs> the problem is I can't put through the reform right now because of that. That's so stupid. I also have all the Pope bonuses, so that should actually help with morale. And I'm Defender of the Faith right now, right? Yep, giving me extra morale again. So my morale should be through the roof. Actually, you know what? Let's check it. I have way more morale. We have the same amount of discipline. He has more siege ability. He has less tradition. So we have better generals and we have the same amount of professionalism. So we should be able to actually just crush him. If something like this wouldn't have happened, right? Thank you, game. This is amazing timing. I would love to be already Prussia right now at this moment, but uh, you know, you can't get everything, I guess. Can we stack wipe this, please? Uh, nope. Hey, and I'm the paper controller. Very cool. I'm actually going to go for institution spread right now. The printing press appeared, so that's very really useful. And I could declare the Ottomans a crusade target. How long does this one go? It goes 17 more years? Why? Why England? The English call a crusade and then stop being Catholic. And the crusade still goes. That is stupid. And the generals are partially rolling here. I just got... This is 6533. Three. I mean, to be fair, I have... Nearly 100% army tradition, so I would be a little bit annoyed if it wouldn't be that good. <laughs> so, yeah. But the only thing I can do right now is to actively fight the Ottomans as much as I can. I do be annoyed that they get away all the time. And that was actually a stack wipe. That's nice. Once again, they get away, but they are reinforcing with troops, so I get the defensive force. But I have no morale, and the Austrians are just somewhere else. I I'm just really sad, because we could have easily won this. Oh, we are. We, we did win this one. Okay, that was strong. But they should melt. That's disgusting that they're not melting. That these troops got away. If, if 20k going to 100k, they should have been sniffed out. I do really need manpower now, though. So I'm going to chill a little bit and play more defensive. How much manpower did we take off the Ottomans? They gained manpower. Oh, that ain't going to be a fun war. But we just have to hold pass. Let's see if we can do that. At least successfully. I can always, you know, I could get some mercs involved. I will lose professionalism, which is sad. But if I get like one large merc company involved, if I need to, that would be actually a huge backbone. My economy does allow that. And I could get more discipline for mercs. Yeah, that could, that's actually a good combination. I never use it, but this time around, actually very useful. I would love him to go into pest again. Yeah, good. Maybe we can do this a few times. <laughs> and they're going into pest again. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. What I could do is go into the burgers, right? Get the burger loans. Bum. And with that burger loans, bringing up to 3,000, I can get the independent army, which would be a huge help to this. And it only brings me 10 over army limit. So it's actually not that bad. And it's a huge chunk of manpower what I need right now. I would get female air. No, wait. Is this a female air? A noble. No, no, no. Five to do. I'm 16. I can do way better. Bump, 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 deleted. Very good. The best thing about this is that they will not reinforce because they don't have a favorable defensive position, which apparently is still inside of the AI code. Yeah, I'm just endlessly grinding down the Ottoman army. We're not making them weaker, but we're making them lose a war score, which is the actual thing we need right now. Because they don't get the capital and they're losing manpower. So far they lost 170k. I mean, I lost 90k, but it's like half of what they lost. Our coalition combined lost the same amount of troops, but... I guess that's a price I'm willing to pay for this. So, once again, they are in pests. Yeah, they hold on for way too long. At least we stack wrap that one. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Very nice. Because the Ottomans are not becoming weak, I'm going to get myself the Grand Company too. And I'm still very rich, so it shouldn't be that important. By the way, this air. No. Die Ottomans. They always get away. That's so disgusting. I really despise that. That was actually a stack wipe. That was beautiful. A white piece at this point would be fine. How much troops do the Ottomans have? 42k. So they actually had big losses. Still seems like a lot because it is but that is way less that's half and you have to think about it. the Ottomans get ridiculous amount of troops back per tick they have lucky nations modifiers and all of the other modifiers that Ottomans get just normally so yeah broken bum very cool we had 22 war score I th I'm probably sure we won't get more than that uh the ability pretty cool just saying both are at low 
Come on. Can I be honest? I will say, this is the religious war of our time. There's no winners in this one. Just everyone loses. And my back hurts from carrying the Austrians so far, so can we stop? <laughs> oh, this is such a horrible war. But I got a new Miltech now. Okay, you know what? I'm back in business. Better horse. Let's go. Better cannons. I'm ready. Even the Austrian Duke just died. Yes, not Emperor. Duke. I am the Emperor. Don't forget that. Bam. Stack wipe. Bam. Defeated. I'm trying out the new Miltech. Defeated. I'm starting to defeat the Ottomans now. And now the peace out. Now I'm starting to have my fun in the peace out. Good. I will delete my troops. We can finally do this reform now. Way too much points for that wasted. Way too much. And I'm kind of sad to see that the Austrians didn't demand any land back. Because the Hungarians could have actually taken a lot of land back over there. Yeah, but I'm gonna chill now. We really, really need a break now. It is not even funny. Uh, what I could do, though, is... Okay, maybe I don't need a break. How about we finish off with defeating the Bohemians one more time and actually force converting them? Because we should be able to do it now. Without Moravia, we should be able to do it. I can't force religion them. What? Ah, oh, they probably developed themselves more. Sadly, we couldn't get a crusade against the Ottomans. Maybe I can change this next episode because I do want to attack the Ottomans at some point and that point is hopefully sooner than later. They're starting to have decadence, which will be crippling for them. And I'm getting the HRE more and more reformed. And yep, I wish you all a good one. Until next episode, bye.